Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the Holly Sniper EFI software from uh, Holly's website and how to install it on your computer. Um, it's pretty simple to do so I'm going to go ahead and hop inside on the computer and we'll get started. Okay so here we are on our desktop here and uh, this will work on a laptop whatever kind of computer you're using. Uh, but go to your uh, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, whatever you prefer to use. Go ahead and open that up and head to Google or once again, whatever you prefer to use, Google is probably the best option. Google Holly. You want to go to their main website here. And hey, look at that. We can win David Freiberger's, uh, I think it's an old Buick. Yeah, old Buick. Wow. Anyways, uh, let's go to support up here in the upper right hand corner. Click on that. We're going to go to EFI software. Alright, now you'll be on this page and you want to scroll down through this list until you see Sniper EFI and you want to go to Sniper EFI Software and click on that. That's going to start this download down here in the left hand corner. And once that's finished, go ahead and click on that file. That's going to open it up in WinRAR, which is this application here, which you don't have to buy. You can download that if you need it, but I believe it's pre-installed on most computers. Um, so now you have two options here, the file or the executable uh, file right here and this is just the installer application so you want to double click on this it's going to ask if you want to uh, install it okay and this is the install location hit next Holly's fine for the file name hit next I want to create a desktop shortcut yes then we're going to hit install okay looks like it had to update some stuff we have to install that okay hit next on that hit finish on that, finish on that, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch the uh, application right now. Okay, here we are in the uh, the opening screen of the application here, and uh, you have a couple options to uh, do here. You can either open up a data log that you downloaded from your Sniper EFI and you put on your SD card and brought in here, and in the next video we'll actually be uh, looking at that data log that we took. Um, but uh, for right now, we're going to open up a configuration file, which is just uh, the tune for your Sniper EFI. This is where you make all your changes. Um, so go ahead and hit that. And you can ignore this stuff over here. I would just go to choose or create new directory. Hit that. And then I just save my tunes onto my desktop. So I have to find the file, which is under save data logs. Hit OK. And here's mine right here, Zane tune number one. Go ahead and open that up and up top here you can see all your different options um, I can change spark stuff because I have the Holly Hyper Spark uh, I think there's some options for the normal one but not too many uh, but you can change stuff like your system parameters here here's your base fuel stuff um, this is all kinda crazy nonsense but you can get really precise with your uh, your fueling here and just a quick tip uh, over here is a different measurement than what most guys are used to um, I already have mine changed, but you can change it to inches of uh, mercury like you can see here, which is your vacuum. So go ahead and hit toolbox, go to preferences, and then you can go ahead and click this display uh, map as PSIG, and make sure that's checked and that's how you want it. So go ahead and hit OK, and there you go. And that might make more sense for a lot of uh, just normal Chevy guys. Um, but other than that, there's just a lot of stuff to mess around with in here. Um, there's a lot of little tweaking you can do and to make your engine run perfectly just the way you want it to. I would recommend doing just you know small changes and see how it drives and see how it idles and see if you can improve it little by little. Um, but always try to compare it to like a data log if you can. But yeah guys go ahead and uh, check this stuff out. In the next video we're going to be looking at that data log so um, let's go back to the garage. Alright that's everything for the Holly Sniper EFI software. Um, if you guys want to know how to take a data log on the Sniper EFIs here, go ahead and check out my last video. I'll throw a tag up for it here in one second. Um, but if you want to see what that data log looks like, go ahead and check out my next video, which will come out eventually, <laughs> hopefully here soon. But I appreciate you guys uh, watching these videos, appreciate you subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.